So we're gonna try this again. <laughs> I recorded the first one with the Bluetooth headphones still plugged in. And you're probably gonna hear the music uh, over this sound. So let's just see what happens. But it's so beautiful outside. So the uh, word consistency is on my mind and I'm probably not gonna be looking into the camera too much in this video because it's so beautiful. But um, consistency, showing up for ourselves with whatever regularity actually helps us move towards the goal that we imagine for ourselves. So it's actually really simple to just decide what actions are gonna move you towards or keep you aligned with the vision that you have for yourself. Um, health vision, relationship vision, professional vision, financial vision, those are typically the areas that, that we humans stay focused in. Also spiritual vision. And it could be a daily thing. I, I would say it's, it's going to be a daily thing, whatever the thing is. But just because we're focused on maybe something business related, um, maybe your business plan involves some sort of spiritual practice and maybe it's the spiritual practice that you do every day that sets the foundation for the state of mind that you want to be in when you are making your business decisions or um, when you're drawing up your marketing plan or, or writing your ad copy. Um, maybe the spiritual foundation is the thing that gives you the grounding to relate with people in the way that you want to relate. The um, consistency is, is just whatever it is we've decided we need to do in order to create the stability and the foundation to build the thing that we've decided we're going to build and develop. And so one of the reasons why we stop with consistent activity is we get bored. That's one reason. So if, if that's you and you get bored doing the same thing every day, it might be helpful to figure out what the core of the thing is that you're doing and then figure out how you can um, mix it up so that you're doing some you're doing the same thing differently um, to keep yourself interested in, and engaged but it's the same core thing thank you so much you're welcome, pleasure. what happens to a lot of people is that um, people decide that just because other people are not responding to what you're doing that it means what you're doing isn't working and that's really what I want to speak to this idea that we're supposed to see immediate results um, it's like that Instagram famous insta famous um, it's another word that I heard in my head recently I'll look it up things don't happen overnight and I know that a lot of people have heard the story of people who've been putting in the work for however long. They've been putting in the work for longer than it looks like when they blew up. I really like to think of plants and the way that plants have to be cultivated. Um, things that need stability and groundedness and a, a good solid rooting to support us, they need time. So. I'm at this amazing, um, like really wonderful coffee shop called Divine Maples. Uh, if you're in the area, I recommend that you come visit. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll distract it. Um, and then there's the music in the background, so you probably won't hear any of this anyway. But I'm speaking to all of us out there who get discouraged because the world is not giving us the feedback that we think we should be getting. I really want to. <laughs> so our job isn't I'm gonna say this and understand that I have coffee and a little gin running through my system because they have this drink called the Pharisee that has that's espresso which does one thing to me and then gin which I haven't had for a while it's like being on an internal roller coaster in a good way <laughs> Um, our job when we are creating something and any of us who are doing anything uh, in business, in relationship with our bodies in terms of, of 
improving our health, addressing health concerns. We are we're embarking on a creative process. It's, it's helpful to think of that, you know, humans are creative beings. So anyway, um, it's not our job to impress people. It's just our job to continue showing up in the inspiration that got us motivated and active in the first place. And our part is to do the work, whatever that work is for us. The relationship, which is the world's response to what we're doing, it's like that call and response. The world's response to what we are putting out there, how we are expressing ourselves, that's not up to us. The consistency of action is up to us. The world gets to have its say in how it responds to us. And there will be people who respond positively to what we're putting out there. There will certainly be people who, who, who do not, who have all sorts of opinions about what we're doing and how we should do it better, or how we should stop doing it all together, whatever it is. That's not our business, not our responsibility. So if you find that you're someone who stops yourself, stops and starts because people aren't responding to you, Maybe there needs to be an adjustment in how you are expressing. Certainly, we can always take that feedback, run it through our system and our tool set, and then respond accordingly. But don't stop just because it doesn't look like the world is responding to you. Continue to put your, your creativity and your expression out there. And allow something to build underground that you, you can't necessarily see. At some point, we're going to see it. It could be years down the road. And that's where patience, cultivating the skill of patience and the strength of patience comes in, but that's another video. So I just wanna encourage you to stay constant with the actions and the ways of being that are moving you towards your vision, your inspiration, your goals. Um, those things keep you aligned, they keep us aligned with our vision. Okay, that's what I wanted to share, and I will talk with you again.